Thank you for tuning in to my channel where you find all about art journals, mixed media, assemblage, collage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here. Hello everybody, welcome back for those who follow along since a while. And if you just have found my video, I'm so glad to have everybody here. So in this video I'm gonna do a mixed media painting and I just feel like I need some flowers, you know, it's start of spring season and I want flowers. So I have already prepared some of the acrylic paints. I also have grabbed some jelly printed uh, deli papers, but I also have this napkin, I think it's the, the white layer, layer of a napkin and I just have blotted uh, colors and I even don't know whether it is watercolor or ink or one of those Jane Davenport things. I do see even a little bit of shimmer here, I don't think the camera picks it up. So I don't know what is really going to happen with that, but I'm fine with that, no risk, no fun, <laughs> anyway. So I, as usual, I'm going to work on a heavy watercolor paper and it is a 300 gram or 140 pound uh, watercolor paper. I have taped because I like the white edges and I have prepared myself sort of a stay wet palette in a, one of those uh, coffee trays. So that's what I'm going to use and I'm probably I'm going to put, put it afterwards when I'm done with painting into a really large Ziploc bag. So I do have a white opaque. I'm going to use for the background I know already my all time favorite teal. So I'm going to add some teal. And I was thinking sort of like roses in a vase, something like that, along that line. So I'm gonna add some reds, of course. As you can see, I have different brands. I mix and match them. Now I do have my Liquitex matte medium here and I have the silicone brush here. So I'm going to add, I have this deli paper with, where I cleaned off some stencils and I think I want to add some pieces of those for the background. And I think I do have like this uh, gold jelly print which I want to use for for a vase that's what I'm thinking so so far how many last minute decisions I gonna have nobody knows Let's see I'm gonna have a table here and then the vase somewhat here so I think that's already enough and I always make sure that I don't have the papers glued to my tape so that I don't run the risk that I'm gonna rip off my papers when I lift up the tape. So I do like the Liquitex mat to glue down things, but uh, other gel mediums would work too. It's just my personal preference. Also going on top of the jelly print and make sure that I really have something underneath. And if you don't want wrinkles, uh, it's always advisable to make sure and scrape it down with one of those scrapers or like a gift card or a key card, something like that. There are wrinkles which I can't avoid because uh, the process of jelly printing already gave wrinkles but I don't need more than what I have already. So a lot of this gonna be in time-lapse again and um, as always if you have a specific question don't hesitate to ask 
Uh, it would be helpful if you could give me an idea where about the section is you asking a question about, so that I don't have to watch myself. <laughs> you don't know how hard it is to watch yourself. <laughs> it's not always fun. <laughs> Especially if you have edited the video, and uh, I usually do watch them two or three times to make sure that there isn't a glitch in it. So. I don't really particularly like to watch myself. Already the first new thing I want to introduce. I just came across this um, tissue paper and I think I want some pieces of this in the background too. Just tiny bits. I have no idea where I have that from. It's maybe from a Happy Mail. Uh, so I can't tell you what it is. I'm sorry about that. Not sure what we're gonna see after I'm done with my background, but it just helps me to start a piece. Now, as you can see, I also add some um, stenciling with the colors I'm gonna use mostly. Of, uh, I, I'm gonna use in the flowers of the wedge, just in the flowers. But I only want them like a little bit, not a really solid, solid color. So maybe a little bit of orange too. Not so much. Maybe down here a little bit. And if I have the feeling it's too much, I grab a wet towel and dab it off. And at the same time, I make more marks. But I'm going to cover it up anyway with uh, the background color, which is my teal. And uh, at the bottom, I'm going to have sort of a table with uh, green which I'm going to mix with the teal and the yellow. Do I want more? Okay. I'm also going to do some mark making with um, a black charcoal and this double all. Oh, no, just, yeah, I'm going to do both. Just adding some random marks. The Stabilo all gonna be, even the Cherokee, gonna be move around, it's not permanent. Okay, I'm gonna dry that and clean my mess here and then I will be back. Okay, time for the background. Uh, I did grab also my glazing medium because I want a rather transparent uh, application of the teal or turquoise. And I'm thinking running low. So let's see how it works.
that might go in with some Durban ink tents too just because I can it's not quite dry yet so I have to be careful that I don't rip off the papers the tissue paper I have added in So I did grab a little bit of the orange and a little bit of the red and I'm gonna establish some flowers now. They are abstract, don't get me wrong here. It is a neon, and I'm gonna put it here, which I have to mix with the other colors so that it is uh, light fast. I'm also gonna add some uh, Titan Bar. I have to let it dry a little bit so that I can go in with more accent colors and also I'm not really happy with the walls right now so I have to dry it. Okay, that's it for today. I'm gonna remove my tape and see what it looks like. It always looks quite different when you remove the tape. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are the first time here, why not consider subscribing or leave a nice comment or give me a thumbs up. That's all appreciated. Okay, see? I don't know whether you can see it. I'm gonna zoom you in right as much as I can. 
Here I'm about to tear up some of the papers. I wasn't careful enough. So what I do, I take my knife and cut carefully along the tape. Here we are. I do have a little boo-boo here, but hey, <laughs> that's how it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and till soon.